She goes up to Courtney's bedroom and she looks in. Courtney's not there, but she sees her purse and her wallet and her cell phone on the nightstand with Courtney's cell phone charging. But again, she's nowhere to be found. So, you know, she calls her ex-husband and they're calling around to friends and family. They start searching for her. They can't find her anywhere. So they notify the police. And to the police's credit, they immediately look into Courtney's disappearance because of the suspicious circumstances of what happened, you know, Saturday night into early Sunday morning because they didn't usually wait the you know, she's over 21. You have to usually wait like 24 to, you know, 36 hours. They didn't. They hopped on it right away. And two days after she was last seen, a detective from the Lebanon County DA's office was assigned to the case, Mike DiPaolo. And Mike DiPaolo knew Courtney as he used to live next to the Stauffers. 